Rifaximin, a powerful pharmaceutical agent, has recently been making waves in the medical community. This versatile antibiotic is gaining recognition for its myriad applications and numerous health benefits. From treating gastrointestinal infections to managing irritable bowel syndrome, Rifaximin has proven to be a game-changer in modern medicine. How does Rifaximin work? Rifaximin belongs to a class of antibiotics known as rifamycins. Unlike traditional antibiotics that are absorbed into the bloodstream, rifaximin has a unique mechanism of action that allows it to remain in the gut, targeting bacteria specifically in the gastrointestinal tract. By inhibiting bacterial RNA synthesis, rifaximin disrupts the replication and growth of harmful bacteria, ultimately leading to their elimination. Its gut-selective nature minimizes systemic side effects, making it a safe and effective treatment option for various gastrointestinal conditions. Rifaximin for Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, is a chronic disorder characterized by abdominal pain, bloating, and changes in bowel habits. While the exact cause of IBS remains unknown, it is believed that alterations in the gut microbiota and the presence of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth SIBO, may play a role in its development. Rifaximin has emerged as a promising treatment for IBS, particularly for patients with diarrhea-predominant IBS, IBSD. Studies have shown that a short course of rifaximin can lead to significant improvement in IBS symptoms, including reduced abdominal pain and improved stool consistency. The gut selective action of rifaximin allows for targeted treatment of SIBO, addressing the underlying cause of IBSD. Rifaximin for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth SIBO. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, SIBO, occurs when there is an abnormal increase in the number of bacteria in the small intestine. This can lead to a variety of symptoms, including bloating, diarrhea, and malabsorption of nutrients. Rifaximin has been extensively studied as a treatment option for SIBO, and research has shown that it can effectively reduce bacterial overgrowth and alleviate symptoms. The gut selective action of rifaximin allows it to specifically target the bacteria in the small intestine, without affecting the beneficial bacteria in the colon. This targeted approach minimizes the risk of antibiotic resistance and helps restore the balance of the gut microbiota. Rifaximin for Hepatic Encephalopathy Hepatic encephalopathy is a neurological condition that occurs in patients with liver disease. It is characterized by cognitive impairment, confusion, and changes in behavior. The underlying cause of hepatic encephalopathy is believed to be the accumulation of toxins, such as ammonia, in the blood due to impaired liver function. Rifaximin has been shown to be an effective treatment for hepatic encephalopathy, as it reduces the production and absorption of ammonia in the gut. By targeting the gut bacteria responsible for ammonia production, rifaximin helps decrease toxin levels, leading to improved cognitive function and overall quality of life for patients with hepatic encephalopathy. Other Potential Uses of Rifaximin while rifaximin is primarily known for its gastrointestinal applications, ongoing research suggests that it may have therapeutic potential in conditions beyond the gut. One such condition is rosacea, a chronic skin disorder characterized by facial redness and inflammation. Preliminary studies have shown that rifaximin can reduce the severity of rosacea symptoms, possibly by modulating the gut microbiota and reducing systemic inflammation. Additionally, rifaximin has shown promise in managing hepatic cirrhosis, a late-stage liver disease. By targeting gut bacteria that contribute to liver inflammation, rifaximin may help slow disease progression and improve outcomes for patients with cirrhosis. Benefits and Side Effects of Rifaximin One of the key benefits of rifaximin is its gut-selective action, which allows for targeted treatment of gastrointestinal conditions without disrupting the balance of the microbiome. This targeted approach minimizes the risk of antibiotic resistance and reduces the incidence of systemic side effects commonly associated with traditional antibiotics. Rifaximin is generally well tolerated, with mild and transient side effects reported in some patients, including nausea, abdominal pain, and headache. However, serious adverse events are rare, making rifaximin a safe and effective treatment option for a wide range of patients. How to use rifaximin effectively? The effectiveness of rifaximin depends on several factors, including the duration and dosage of treatment. In most cases, a short course of rifaximin ranging from 10 to 14 days is sufficient to achieve clinical improvement. However, individualized treatment plans may be necessary based on the specific condition being treated. It is important to follow the prescribed dosage and duration of treatment to maximize the effectiveness of rifaximin and minimize the risk of antibiotic resistance.
As with any medication, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before starting rifaximin to ensure appropriate use and to discuss potential interactions with other medications. Conclusion In conclusion, rifaximin is a powerful antibiotic that offers diverse uses and benefits in the field of medicine. Its gut selective action makes it an effective treatment option for various gastrointestinal conditions, including irritable bowel syndrome, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and hepatic encephalopathy. Additionally, ongoing research suggests that rifaximin may have promising applications in managing conditions beyond the gut, such as rosacea and hepatic cirrhosis. With its broad-spectrum effectiveness, minimal side effects, and potential off-label uses, rifaximin is unlocking new possibilities in modern medicine. Whether you're a healthcare professional or someone seeking alternative treatment options, exploring the power of rifaximin may offer new hope in managing a wide range of health conditions. Thanks for watching.